Now we said that normal hemoglobin looks like this, which we named hemoglobin A, and it's made of two normal alpha subunits in blue and two normal beta subunits in green. But what happens in sickle cell anemia? Well, let's represent it like this, and this variant of hemoglobin is called HBS, and it's made of two alpha subunits, two normal alpha subunits in blue, and two defective beta subunits in yellow. This small structural change is enough to cause the hemoglobin S molecules to polymerize within the cell, like this. This causes the RBC to take on a sickle shape, not the normal biconcave disc that it would normally have. Now we learned in the last video that part of the reason for having this biconcave disc shape is that it allows the RBCs to bend and fold a little bit when they're going through the smallest blood vessels in the body. So let's demonstrate that here by drawing out a small blood vessel. And in the normal condition, we have our biconcave discs, RBCs, that travel nicely down this blood vessel through the twists and turns and down into the rest of the circulation of this vessel. The sickle cell variant, on the other hand, they're slightly misshapen, and they have a tendency to get stuck on these corners, and in a bad situation, they can actually clog up and prevent this circulation from going all the way through. 